Hey, it's your buddy Peace and Harmony with you here today. Zooming in on the, the narcissist control tactic of wearing a facade, wearing a mask, being someone other than what they really truly are, putting on their best behavior, really sort of acting to be a person other than what they are. Now, if you have expose the narcissist you know exactly what we're referring to where unbeknownst to you this person was leaving a uh, leading a double life a triple life they had multiple partners uh, different people perhaps that they were living with children that they were taking care of uh, parenting a number of different child by different people um, going under aliases the the extent of the double and triple lives can take really incredible proportions. So it is very important to become aware of the tactic of wearing a facade, wearing a mask, basically putting a persona out to uh, their target to be a specific type of person. Particularly, these are custom made according to the person that they wish to target. For example, uh, when a narcissist is going about trying to find a new lover, a, no, a new romantic partner, a new sexual partner. Uh, they'll, they'll be attracted to them for specific qualities. Um, it could just be physical, it could be emotional, it could be because of their professional credentials. There's a number of different reasons. Um, and if it's usually just physical, um, the narcissist will engage in just purely physical uh, charm, purely physical uh, flirting, very physical in nature. Um, I mean, just flexing their less muscles, um, taking things like Viagra, being, you know, um, emotional prowess, or I'm sorry, sexual prowess all the time, um, acting tireless in terms of their pursuits, not giving up, using uh, provocative language to just really uh, provoke their, their target and break them down. Oftentimes, they will seek to um, engage in sexual activity in places where the uh, target does not want to or after they've said no um, they'll just say oftentimes they'll even use like just to do me a favor or they'll just try to uh, make them feel comfortable when they're not truly not comfortable they've said no several times you know they're trying to back them off and the narcissist just loves this type of challenge it's the old seek and destroy uh, conquer and divide sort of concept. However, um, the target oftentimes falls for this. Once they've been broken down once, they're, they're prone to becoming broken down again and again. And then the target originally forgets that mask, forgets that this was just a, a target and a conquest for them. So they continue to succumb and then they, they begin to put uh, the experiences together to create a form of relationship in their mind, which the narcissist had no intention of creating a relationship. It was merely just a conquest. It was merely just for the purpose of, of manipulating them and controlling them. And oftentimes it's not even you know, a source of enjoyment for the narcissist, it's, it's just truly engaged in for the conquest of the battle. Claiming victory over their target is enough to keep this narcissist reattacking again and again and keeping that mask. So the mask can be one of um, flirtation, and um, the mask can also be one uh, a custom made to uh, be particular to your interests. For example, if you really feel passionate about your work, then the narcissist will full on put a mask of them becoming an expert in um, your line of work, or a specific interest or a specific mission that you're trying to spearhead and um, take on at work. And they can go as far as learning different languages, coming up with all sorts of data, um, things of that nature where, you know, they are all of a sudden an expert in that field, which prior to them meeting you, they were not at all experienced in that area. They will craft a mask based on targeting that specific person. It's very uh, strange and odd and oftentimes there's a lack of integration between the masks that the narcissist will put forth. 
in other words, um, the narcissist will be one way, one personality characteristic to another, and a completely different, opposing and contradictory uh, mass to another person. For example, um, they'll be very uh, docile, very provider, very uh, paternal, if we're talking about a male narcissist to one, and they'll be very, uh, really, completely the opposite to another, where if they're fatherly to one, they'll act like the bad boy to another. Um, they'll act like a professional uh, to one relationship and very unprofessional in another. So they're really able to vacillate, vacillate, uh, vacillate between their masks very easily. They do this as a way of life. I mean, they are so good at this, it just shocks you when you're able to expose them and realize the depth at which they're able to manipulate, c control, and fool people. Um, and this can go from uh, being a financial expert to an artist. Um, they're able to vacillate between usually uh, very discordant sort of masks. And so it's very important to realize if um, this person is targeting you with a mask or if they truly have a history. Oftentimes, you know, if you, if you uh, are concerned about this or um, suspecting this, you know, look into this person's history, see if they have any sort of foundation in this area or if it's just being a crafted mask designed to control you, target you, and bring you under their control through, again, a mask that they have put together for you. And um, again, as with all relationships, do not enter into relationships very too quickly. This is really often the downfall of a lot of targets is that they are allowed to have one pulled one over onto them way too fast rather than allowing the relationship to develop slowly and what you really get to know this person and really what they're capable of. So please be alar uh, alert to this and be alarmed if anyone is really coming on too quickly and targeting you in this manner. Peace and harmony. I hope these videos do help. Please share, please subscribe for more great tools, videos, discussion, and support.